Matthew 6, 26, Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet our heavenly Father feeds them. Are, they not, are you not of more value than they? So the birds, they don't have to reap, they don't have to sow, reap, or gather into barns, and, but God will feed them. So God takes care of the birds. Why does God, why is God so, does God have so much time to take care of the birds? Actually, every creature in the whole world depends on God. It's God who provides for them so that they can have what they need. You know, uh, when you watch National Geographic videos, you see that how some migrating birds, when they fly to a certain place and God provides them with some fish they can eat, another place there will be other things they can eat. So God has a way to provide for animals and when he provides for animals he will much more provide for us now if God so close the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much more clothe you O you of little faith so the grass in the field uh, they don't have to uh, uh, you know they don't have to do anything to get the clothing and uh, they don't have the spin uh, to, to make the clothing and then yet God will clothe them uh, with beautiful clothing. So this is the promise of God. He will clothe you also. He will clothe us with clothing and also clothe us with the beauty of God, the honor of God, the glory of God, the gifts of God. And then seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. <clears throat> So the promise is that all this thing will be added to you. So when we seek God first His kingdom and His righteousness. Seek His kingdom means we want more people saved. We pray for more people to be saved. We bring the gospel to more people. And also, where God is king, there is His kingdom. So it also means that we let God rule over our life. Let God uh, take over our life, be our king in our life. So when we do that, when we seek God's kingdom, we want more people saved and we want God to be our king at home, in the family, in the church, in the place of work. And seek His righteousness. That means to, to seek the righteousness of Jesus Christ to forgive our sins and also the Christian's righteousness when we obey God. When we seek His kingdom and His righteousness, all these things will be added to us. So this is a promise. So I hope you always look for the promise in the Bible verse. Sometimes the Bible verse might not have it, but then uh, you can look through the whole Bible and then you can find it. I'll explain that later in the future. Okay, the outline of Matthew 6, 26, 30, and 33. God cares about the birds of, and the grass. He cares about us much more, so He'll provide for us. He provides for birds, He also provides for us. When we seek God's kingdom and His righteousness, righteousness, He will provide for us richly, richly. And why many people worry and don't seek God's kingdom and righteousness? Because they think they depend on themselves, it's more reliable, and then they find that they, the money will go away, the business can break down. So people, they worry because they seek their own way to find treasure. So how we can trust in God and seek God's kingdom and righteousness? So we trust in God because we see God takes care of everything in the nature. God takes care of our life. God provides for us. God works in our heart with the Holy Spirit. God is speaking to us all the time. So God is trustworthy. So we say, yes, I want to trust God. He has blessed me so many times. I want to trust God. And then I want to seek God's kingdom. I want to see more people saved. I want people to go to heaven instead of going to hell. I want to let God be my king. Everything I do, I glorify God. I obey God. Then I'm seeking God's kingdom and His righteousness. I want Jesus' righteousness covering me. I want Jesus to forgive me and give me His righteousness. And I want to build up my righteousness. I want to love God, love people. I want to be honest. I want to, be, uh, to live a holy life. So that's how. And then God will promise me that He'll add all these things to me so I can joyfully seek God's kingdom and trust in Him and seek His righteousness and God is happy with me and He will bless me. Okay? 
So we'll stop here and I hope that this will help you in the outline and also in the Bible verses to find out how many Bible verses contain promises. Now even though some Bible verses don't contain promises, but it's implied and it's also in the, from the whole Bible. The Bible tells us that when we obey God, then we are building on the foundation of rock and then uh, we'll stand firm even when the rain, the flood comes, then we'll still stand firm and blessed are those who hear God's word and obey. So anything we do to obey God, God is always happy. So we can always find God's promise from the whole Bible. We can talk about that next time. And I hope that you follow outlines to write messages so that the message is very clear. It's uh, uh, that people can follow easily. Okay, if you have any questions, you can stand, send to me. We'll please stand up to pray. When you stand up, you can feel the swaying of the Holy Spirit. Just as John and Saul, when they saw Jesus, they fell to the ground. When it's very powerful, they fell to the ground. But when it's not so powerful, they sway. The body sway. Okay, let's close our eyes and stand up. Thank you, Father, because you are God of provision. You provide for us. You provide for the birds, and you also provide for us. So we don't have to worry about anything. We can trust in you. Oh, Father, we thank you because you have given us so many promises. You have promises, promised us that when we love you, you you bless us when we seek your kingdom you give all these things to us when we obey you you will certainly bless us and when we serve you even when we give people a cup of water for sure we will not lose the reward so you're a god of promises you have many promises and you keep your promises lord help us to trust in you fill us of the holy spirit give us the power of the holy spirit to be transformed by you Holy Spirit, please come and bless us, strengthen us, use our life mightily, help us to enter God's perfect plan, help us to love you, to obey you, to serve you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You're a loving God. You're a kind God. You're a good God. You're a powerful God. Thank you. We appreciate you. Please fill us with the Holy Spirit. Give us the anointing of the Holy Spirit so we'll serve God with power and love and joy. Father, we thank you. We love you.